So yeah, you, you really need to distinguish in science between the legitimate give and take uh, and legitimate criticism, which is a critical thing in science. It's part of the self-correcting machinery that sort of keeps science on a path towards a better understanding, towards scientific truth. And so we rely on real skepticism. In, that takes the form uh, in the peer-reviewed literature. You publish a paper, um, it's got to be reviewed. It goes to several experts, typically anonymously in the field, um, who you know, will determine whether or not you've made your case. Uh, and if they determine you have, it gets published, but it doesn't stop there because um, some other scientists may see that paper, they may um, disagree with the conclusions, they may disagree with the method that was used or the data was used, and they may publish a response or they may publish uh, follow-up work, and you may publish a reply to that, trying to put um, the, the work you had done in uh, that additional context. Uh, and so that's sort of the legitimate give and take that occurs in science, it, it occurs in the peer-reviewed scientific literature, it occurs at scientific meetings like the one that we're at, where scientists present uh, their findings and then members of the audience can ask them questions um, about that work, about their work. So we have to distinguish between that, that legitimate give and take, and it can sometimes be contentious. It can be very contentious. Uh, my uh, uh, you know, good friend and, and sadly you know, no longer uh, with us uh, colleague Steve Schneider you know, once characterized science as a full contact sport, and, and that's not a bad description. Um, sometimes you know, our detractors will tell you well, you know, this is just a love fest. All we're trying to do is reaffirm each other's uh, work uh, demonstrating that global warming is real because that's what brings all the grant money coming in. Nothing could be farther from the truth. The way you get ahead in science is by distinguishing yourself from everyone else, by finding something new, by showing that everyone else was wrong. That's how you really make a name for yourself in science. The incentives are precisely the opposite of what our detractors would claim. Um, so let's distinguish between that. That's all good and it's really important and what I would call bad faith um, sort of uh, attacks on science which you know, have a different nature to them. Uh, typically they're not published in the peer-reviewed literature. They're published on blogs um, and they're not published by scientists with expertise in the field. They're published by typically, you know, often people with an axe to grind, people who have an ideological view that the regulation of carbon emissions is a bad thing and so we have to disprove the underlying scientific reason for it and we do that by going after scientists 